The second in command in the Charlotte Diocese is off the job. One spirit in Christ. After someone accused him of sexual misconduct. New this hour, the top secret investigation into allegations like this and the push for a full list of other clergy who have also been accused. I do think that the church needs to address it. Monsignor Mauricio West stepped down. A former Belmont Abbey student has come forward saying that West made unwanted advancements several times in the 1980s. Sexual misconduct and abuse and the Catholic Church's response to it has been under a lot of scrutiny over the past few years with people demanding some transparency. This particular case is a big deal because of Monsignor West's prominent role in the local diocese. He was the bishop's right hand man for about 25 years as the Vicar General and Chancellor. His Monsignor title is also a top honor awarded by the Pope to respected senior priests. Now West has been very involved in the community, working closely with local Catholic schools and serving as a leader on the board of the Catholic Charities. We should know West has denied the allegations and is not facing any criminal charges. Channel 9's Joe Bruno has been digging into this case all day and also looking at what this means for transparency in Charlotte's Catholic Diocese. Joe. In light of all of this, many are hoping if there are more victims that they will come forward and that the diocese will publish a list of all of the priests who have been credibly accused of sexual misconduct and abuse. Known as Father Mo to many, Monsignor Mauricio West served as the second most prominent official in the Diocese of Charlotte. Tonight, he's off the job, resigning after the lay review board determined an allegation of sexual misconduct from the 80s is credible. Shocking news for the 450,000 Catholics who live in the Charlotte area. It concerns me. Uh, how could it not? The news comes as the diocese continues to wait before releasing a list of priests who have faced credible accusations of sexual abuse. Numerous cities across the country have already gone public with this information. Sex abuse attorney Seth Langston has represented a number of people who have made claims against the diocese in the past. He says the Charlotte delegation won't become more transparent unless parishioners demand it. I'm just going to come down to parishioners. I mean, if they stop donating, if they hurt them with the dollars, it'll change. The allegations against Monsignor West stem from when he served as vice president for student affairs at Belmont Abbey. The school says a former adult student claims to be a victim of unwanted advances over a two year period. West denies the allegations. Catholics like Regina Girantano hope the church won't sweep these problems under the rug. I do think that the church needs to address it. They need to not duck it. And, and I think a little bit more needs to be said <coughs> from the pulpit. Now, Joe, we've been asking for months if and when the Charlotte Diocese will release the list of clergy who have credible accusations against them. So I know you talked to them today. Any update on when that could happen? The diocese has not committed to releasing that name. They say discussions are still underway whether to release all of those names and what information to include with it. So right now, really, there is no timeline. Erica. All right, Joe Bruno with a major story tonight. I thank you for that report. Uh, Channel 9 also wanted to learn more about the board that investigates claims like this, but learned a lot of it is kept top secret. It is a confidential advisory group that makes recommendations to the bishop. Here's what we do know. The Lay Review Board was established in 2002 to protect children. Every diocese has one. It is made up of parishioners and clergy, but the diocese won't say how many people are on it, how long those people serve in those positions, or how the bishop decides who to appoint to the board. Now, we asked to interview the bishop about allegations against the Monsignor today, but the diocese said no. At the Eucharistic Congress last fall, he did speak about sexual misconduct and abuse within the larger Catholic Church. The horrible sins of abuse and misconduct and the sins of abuse of power and position have reared their ugly heads in the church, and for this we are saddened and outraged. Bishop Jugis will be the one who decides if and when West can return to the job. Now we have the full statement from the bishop posted on our website at WSOCTV.com.